Hello guys, good day to you, welcome to this new video, I'm Andrew from Yelpid Games and today we're going to to attend the second day, it's day two <laughs> it's day two of Event of Code okay, just click, I have no idea actually what's the the challenge today so we're going to click here oh no, rock, paper and scissors it looks something cool but hard to me hopefully nothing really really hard anyway, I'm going to use you guys if you want to suggest stuff you just suggested me. Hello, Wester Boy. How are you doing, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Definitely will be a huge project to take. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to read a little bit this um, this clues here. So, what is going to say? What's the story today? The elves began to set up a camp on the beach. On the beach, to decide whose tent goes to be closest to the snack <laughs> storage. This kind of a snack thing here. <laughs> Everyone wants snacks. A giant rock, paper, scissors tournament is already in progress. Rock, paper, scissors is a game between two players. Each game contains many rounds. In each round, the player each simultaneously choose one of rocks, papers, or scissors using a hand shape. Okay, so basically, that's, that's the thing. Next time, put the option to write, so then I'll write you. Honestly, man, a raid is active to my channel. Let's go here, day two. So then a winner for the round is selected. Rock defeats scissors, scissors defeat paper, and paper defeat rocks. F fortunately, we're not using, you know, the... Now, you, you you don't have yet 30 days, actually. You're, you have only four days, <laughs> yeah. It's been just four days since you created your account, so that's why. Oh, Shrizzle! Hello, man! Hello, man! Thank you very much for the raid! Giuseppe Verdi Originale! Thank you very much! <laughs> Hello, man! How are you doing, guys? How did your life go? How, did your li How was your life? Hello, kid! How are you doing, man? Welcome to the live stream. Nice! <laughs> I I'm reading the, the prompt right now. <laughs> and I have no idea. I think this is going to be quite difficult right now because it's talking about a game about rock scissors and paper. So I have no idea really. So each game contains many rich. Well, okay, many rounds. In each round, the player each simultaneously choose one of rock, paper, or scissors using a hand shape. Then a winner for that round is selected. Rock defeats scissors. Scissors defeat paper, and paper defeats rock. If both players choose the same shape, the round in the, uh, instead ends in a draw. Now, the fact here is, we are quite lack lucky that that we're not playing the Big Bang Theories one. <laughs> that, you know, there, there are some variation with Spock, <laughs> Lizard, and other stuff there. <laughs> anyway, appreci uh, appreciative of your help yesterday, One Elf gives you an encrypted strategy guide. <laughs> your puzzle input that they say will be sure to help you win. The first column is what your opponent is going to pl to play, okay? A for rock, B for paper, C for C scissors, okay? The second column, suddenly, the elf is called away to help with someone, someone's stand. Oh no! So we have to de decipher what... We have to find out what the second column is. The second column, you, you reason, must be what you should play in response. X for rock, Y for paper, and Z for scissors. <laughs> I can use something like Candy Crash. <laughs> Page 777. It's empty. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm kind of feeling a little bit of pressure right now. <laughs> because I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make anything co good from this. I'm going to... If I'm going to... I have no idea. If I'm going to cavare un, un ragno dal buco, no? In inglese. <laughs> Winning every time will be suspicious, so the response must be must have been carefully chosen. What? The winner of the world tournament is the player with the highest score. Your total score is the sum of your scores for each round. The score for a single round is the score for the shape you selected. One for rock, two for paper, three for scissors. Plus the score for the outcome of the round, zero is if you lose, three if it was a draw, and six if you won. <laughs> Plus the score for the outcome of the round, zero if you lost, three if, uh, if you if the round was a draw, and six if you won. 
Since you can't be sure if the elf is trying to help you or to trick you, you should calculate the score you would get if you were to, uh, to follow the strategy guide. For example, suppose you were given the following strategy guide. A, Y, Y is paper, A is pound, what was A? Rock, okay. B is scissors and scissors. Scissors and scissors. X rock, okay. X is rock, basically. I, I need to kind of, you know, make a little scheme here. And we're going to do that right now, because I'm not sure if, if I'm getting it right. Let me grab my iPad. We're going to draw some, some little guide here, just to understand what I need to do, actually. Okay, so A, B, C. So A is rock, paper, and scissors. Okay, I'm going to put some red here. Okay, like that, and that that's okay for us. This is my little scheme to understand what what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so we're going to use this this nice blue here, and we're going to say that y is z x z y x z right? Is that the right one? X z and y x z should be the same actually. It should be rock and paper. And scissors. Okay, we have both of them. <laughs> you're not joking, you're right, man. <laughs> and that's uh, such a sad thing to actually <laughs> to actually know. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm I'm writing the Italian words down just to make understand all the people that is watching right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have our our scheme here. <laughs> I like my last, my name in last, and I like the sir. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wanted to create a kingdom of people, you know. In, in fact, if you see when someone actually is joining us, uh, if someone subscribe uh, or follows the, the you know the uh, uh, my channel basically, it says uh, sir uh, just joined the the kingdom or something like that. The people of the kingdom. I don't remember really, so. <laughs> it's something like that. I decided when it was too late. It was something like 1 a.m. <laughs> okay, we have our scheme here. I'm going to make this small, like that. So basically, if I put A, okay, and Y, his Y. I definitely made a mistake here. X is rock, actually. Hello, Toddy. Welcome, man, to the chat. Okay, somehow I made already mistakes because I, I'm speaking I'm not focusing on the stuff here such a bad thing <laughs> in this case it's kind of you know chi parla sbaglia so basically Y and Z for scissors scissors is the right one okay here we are guys basically we have rock paper and this is my my job basically my my way to play okay maybe this thing we probably we don't even need this, but I, I did it just to make sure that we, we have something to see physically. Like this. Okay. Like that. Here we have it. And now what we're going to do is, since you can be sure that if the elf, okay, for example, A, the, the enemy plays A, I play Y, so paper, and I win. If the enemy plays paper, I play rock, and I lose, basically, right? And if the enemy plays scissors, I play scissors and I draw. So basically, in this round here, I kind of win, right? Because my points actually will be, according to this thing, I get some points, right? And those points will be actually that if you draw rock, you have one point. If you... Wait a minute. If you draw rock, you have one point. If you draw paper, you have two points. And if you draw... Scissors, you have three points basically, and if you win, gives you six points, right? If you lose, you you get zero points, and if you draw, you get three points. So this is the main scheme here, okay? So basically, since we're in this little guy here, we make a win, 
we make a lose and we make a draw. Basically, we get at least, let's see, paper, two, one, and three, already six points, 12 points since we use paper and win, okay? When we lose zero points and another three points. So basically, in this section here, we get 15 points, right? Am I, am I right about this? So basically, this strategy guide predicts and recommends the following, the following. In the first round, your opponent will choose rock, A. You should choose paper, Y. This ends in a win for you, with a score of 8, right? That's what, that, what I, that what, was what I was saying. 2 because you choose paper and 6 because you won. In the second round, your opponent will choose paper, B, and, and you should choose rock, X. This ends in a lose, and I gain anyway one point since I lose, but I use rock. And we are at nine points. The third one round is a draw with both players choosing scissors, giving you a three points because I used scissors, right, like that. And I, I gain three points because it's a draw, so basically it's six. So eight plus one by si plus six is 15. Uh, what would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to the strategy guide? That's the question, basically. So we need to see what's our <laughs> puzzle input right now, and we're going to click it. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, this is our scheme. We're going to grab this. Control A, Control C, and we're going to print, uh, just put it in a file like yesterday. Okay. So basically, let's, let's jump to Godot engine. We're going to open it. And let's see what we can actually do today <laughs> with all this data. So, uh, AOC, here it goes. Anyway, the approach that we had yesterday was quite good. And that's the one we're going to, to have actually today as well. So, let's see. Let's see. So, I'm going to create a new scene. And this is going to be day two. <laughs> okay, like that. I'm going to give this a script. And it's going to be day two, and that's fine. And we're going to open this. I'm going to create a text file. Day two, row, wait a minute, row data, like yesterday. Day two, like that. Open this, paste everything here, and just save it. That was it. <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Now, one thing that you probably don't know is that I just uh, took a few a few plugins just to make the code a little bit better. I can export right now screenshots of the code. So basically I put them on my Discord. I'm going to, to, to repeat a lot of times Discord because I want to share with people and I want people to share solutions with me. So if you want to come guys, just come on Discord because I just created a, a section for this. So please come and let's join together. So basically we're going to create a variable right now. What we need is raw data like yesterday. Okay, it's going to be a string, and I'm going to implement a few lines here, like this, and let's say J2, and let's close this. Okay, here we go. Now, row data, so we have a row data, and what we're going to do is actually to load the file, like we did yesterday, so what I'm going to do is exactly the same thing and let's see probably I can make something like like a class or a, a general function so I can use it every day we're going for that right we're going to do something like that hopefully I'm not sure though <laughs> okay let's create a new file here new script like that create okay like this. What we're going to do right here is to, can I say a class, load load the data, like that, right? I can do that, why? Now, I'm learning Godot, so basically, please don't be angry with me because I don't remember stuff and I, I'm such a bad, <laughs> a real bad coder, but let's see. Class, okay. I remember using this. Here, right here. Okay. Oh, probably is, is because of that. Okay. So I'm going to create a function right here. 
like that. And I need here to pass basically the path. Okay. Then here is going to happen this thing. Uh, var new file. Okay. Equals to file that new. Okay. Should I use here a new? Let me see. I'm not sure. I think that we should use like that basically. Okay. And new file. Oh, wait a minute. File that open file. Can we open open file something like that? How did I do this? Let's see day one. Ha! I'm going to copy everything. Open. It, it just needs to open. So basically here we're going to put the path and then we're going to just read the file. Okay. And new file equals to new file that get as a text. Get as text. Can I do this? Right. Why, why, why do you do that? Okay. Okay, it should be actually working. Hopefully. Or probably not. I'm not sure about this. I'm going to create a variable just to make sure that I'm not making any kind of mistakes here. Okay, like that. I'm going to close this file right now. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to return. Return raw data. Okay, okay this thing should be working quite fine, but I'm not sure really. And let's see if I can save this. Save this file, please. Okay. Very, very good. Very, very good. Now, we're going to use function ready here. Func function ready. Okay. And what we're going to do is basically row data like this uh, equals to. Uh, now we're going to use the class that we uh, we used for the load data, basically this one. That is called load data, load da data, right? Does this thing exist? It really doesn't exist. Hmm. Let's see. Probably I can do it differently. Maybe I can do it like this. Right. Okay. We should be good to go, actually. Let's see, load data. Okay, we have it, that load file, like this, and we need to pass a path. And this path is going to be somewhere here. I'm just going to grab this one just to make sure. Hopefully this is going to work. I'm not sure. Can only be from an instance. Mm. What does this mean? I'm quite sad right now because somehow uh, maybe I I need to make sure that it's in node to D, node to D basically. Okay, it should be extending the right thing right here. Let's see here. We have the same error. Yeah, it keeps saying that it can be loaded can be only called from an instance, basically. Mm. Okay, no static functions. Let's see what does Godot says about this. I'm not sure about this. Okay. <laughs> oh, basically I need to kind of make it static. How does this work? I never made something like that. Let's see. Static function. Do I have the same error? No, I don't have actually. And what I'm going to do is just print row data. 
Okay, like that. Let's see if anything happens. Hopefully it's going to happen. And okay, I, I got an error here because somehow I'm so stupid that I forget to close those brackets. Okay, we have our output and that's such a great thing. Because this thing, I, I'm, I'm going to use this thing for next days if we're going to have data like this. That's great. We are good to go. We're good to go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, okay, row data, that split. Now, row data equals to row data, that split. Okay. So we found yesterday that we can split stuff like this. And... So basically, what are the things that we need right here? True, true, like that, right? We should have right now, okay, we have our our stuff here. Okay, probably, just to know, I finally published the sneak peek. Yes, L let's see here. Let's see here, Chad. Ooh. So you were using Game Jolt. I'm going to give it a look as long as I finish this. As soon as I finish this, we're going to give a look to your game, okay? If you're okay with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Obviously, there's the game, show your work, game dev. You can use those channels to publish your, your stuff. That would be great, actually. But no problem, man. We're just us. We're just a few people, so no one is going to complain about that. Okay. So I'm going to create here another function. Um, create, create rounds, rounds, okay, for E in row data, like that, <laughs> okay, and now we're going to split even more of this, creating basically an arise inside the arise. I, I don't know if this makes sense to you. So basically, what should I do here is... Uh, 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 for E... Uh, 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 how can we do this? Now, we're going to be rounds, rounds, like that, dot append, okay? And we're going to append E dot split, dot split, it should be okay, probably. Uh, let's see. What we're going to use to split this thing is actually space, right? Okay. And false. False. We don't need space in this case. And okay. And in the end, what we're going to do is basically row data equals to rounds or well rounds okay let's see if we can call this function here okay let's see what we're going to get okay we have every of our you know of our index here very very good very good we have one two three four now, there's a space here, or maybe not. Probably there's no space there. Probably. I'm not sure. Anyway, so basically we need to calculate uh, each condition here. So uh, what we're going to do is right now, check, check, score. Okay. Something like that. Or maybe battle. <laughs> This will be such such a nice thing. Okay. And here we go. Okay, definitely we need something for points. So var points equals to zero. And final point, uh, final points, var final points. Okay. Or maybe total points. Okay, equals to zero as well. Now, this is very interesting because I never did something like this, but it should have the same structure probably. So, um, what I'm going to do is 
okay. For E in in row data, basically, <laughs> row data, right? And here inside, what we're going to get is basically the two the two things here, right? Let's see. Temp uh, enemy was empty. Var temp var temp player. So basically, here we're going to store each of our two positions, basically, and we're going to check them, right? For a in in y <laughs> in e like that okay how can i do this basically how can i use should i use an index for this to check actually the if the first one is the index one and so on probably yes right okay you could have done the second split inside the loop and avoid nested loops where let me see here. Ciao, face. Um. <laughs> Hello, man. How are you doing? I'm making the advent of code. <laughs> Ele Pietro, you're such a clever boy. Where should I have done that? Let's see. <laughs> but actually, he's right. I mean, I could have done this inside where. Advent of code. Today is day two, and basically, I need to solve this puzzle games. Uh, after I finish this, this is a, a challenge every day, and I'm using Godot to actually uh, join this challenge. Yeah, right now it's the game uh, Shizzer Paper, uh, oh, it's a Rock Shizzer Paper, and I need to calculate all my points, basically, for winning or losing. And I need to, I have this data set of all my rounds, and I need to understand uh, how many points do I have in the end of the day, basically? Because each round gives me points, unless I kind of lose. But even then, I I get points, basically. But Ele Pietro is saying something clever. So he basically said that you could have done the second split inside uh, the fourth loop. First things first, I think you can pick items from Array doing this. Array, okay. Or similar in uh, so you basically say that I um, I can easily do avoid all this shit like this and do basically row data um, no wait a minute temp temp e oh wait a minute come on temp enemy equals to uh, e and just by getting like that you say temp p I, Okay, like this, and that I think that that's quite a good thing <laughs> because I avoided most of the the stuff. Anyway, phase. I'm going to work on my game uh, in the end of the advent of code, and actually we're not going anywhere because I, I'm just losing a lot of time by speaking. <laughs> anyway, here's the site. If you want to join with your with your mates, I know that you are such clever clever developers. But it might be something interesting to make in retro hardware, kind of in Amiga or assembly code. I, I'm not sure if you can do this in assembly or whatever, or if it will be easy. <laughs> but in the end of the day, it might be quite challenging and interesting to make it in retro coding, so, or anyway, in assembling. <laughs> Hopefully you, you will enjoy this. <laughs> row, row is with the A, like that, yes. Nice. So basically, row data, okay, we have this too, and now I can easily check that, right? Oh, thank you very much, Wintermute! Ooh, Wintermute, this was such a, an amazing software! <laughs> thank you for, very much for, for joining us, uh, I really appreciate that. So, <laughs> how are you doing, man? <laughs> Hopefully you're doing great.
Anyway, I'm I'm trying to, to to do my best with this thing here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to to get in the end of everything. <laughs> okay. So I'm adding some points anyway here. And okay. Now we need to make some checks if those <laughs> So basically, Let's see, I have the points, basically. And last but not least, in the end of the day, points, points, uh, 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 total points. Okay. We're doing this just to, to see how many points I get just by, you know, playing my, my, my things. And let's see here, bottle, okay. Let's see if anything happens. Print total points. Like that. Okay, these are my normal points, basically. Anyway, if we run this, these are my points in the end of all the battles, without taking count if I'm winning, losing, or whatever. Of, or if it's a draw. So basically, what we're going to do right now is going to be something like that. We're going to check if... If... Tempe is equal to temp temp p this is a draw so points plus equal three basically okay i'm i'm going so hard with if conditions here that i i don't get if this is the best way to do this where is all my data okay b y y b z a z a Y B Z. Mm. No, actually, I'm thinking if there is kind of a way to match everything together without making uh, such in this way. But actually, I have no idea about that. Anyway, we're going to try this. Temp E equals to. I need the scheme right here. <laughs> Just to remember everything, what we need to do. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I have the scheme right here. It's going to disappear probably if I click somewhere. Okay, here we go. So basically, if temp E is A, so rock, and temp b temp p temp p is equal to y okay i'm going to give points to ourselves because we win plus equal 6 right and if temp p equals a and temp p equals rock as well. Now, basically, if they are both the same, we don't need to check because we already checked that in the first in the first thing. So, if they are rock and we are scissors z, we just get nothing. We just pass. <laughs> or maybe I can do points points plus equals zero, like that. I mean. Okay, if they are paper, so basically if they are B, okay. Oh, wait a minute, I just lost my connection here. So if they are B and we are, when we will win, if, if it's paper, we will win with scissors and we are Z, Z Y, Y. Why we don't need to check it? X. We. Wait a minute. Now, the fact here is that we don't really need to check the zero points, right? Because we don't care about that. Such a stupid idea to check zero points. We check only if we win. We are zero points. There's no point in checking that. So basically, if it's B and if we are scissors in this case, we get to ourselves points 
plus equal to six, right? There's no point in checking if we don't win. <laughs> Since we don't have kind of a, bet, uh, a negative point, basically, we're not going to subtract to our points anything if we lose. So there's no, no sense on making that. Equals to C. And temp P equals to... So C is basically scissors and we need rock is X. We're going to give ourselves some points, plus six points, equal to six. So basically we have all the, the needed things here, and that's fine. And let's see what is going to happen. Okay. Very nice. Let's see the final point right now. Okay, this is our points, basically. Let's submit it. Oh, that's not the right answer. <laughs> like always, that's not the right answer. I, I made a mistake. What's my mistake? My answer is too low. Oh no, I made a mistake again. How did this happen? How did this happen? <laughs> okay, we're going to check what's my... Your answer is too low. If you're stuck, make it... Okay, no, wait a minute. Before, okay. We're going to see our code, basically. Where did we go wrong, right? Okay, let's read again the question here. Ret return to data, please. <laughs> okay, basically. In the first round, your opponent will choose rock and you should choose paper. Okay. Okay, okay. In this example, we gain 15 points. What would your total score be if everything goes exactly to your according strategy. Okay, we need to check here, right here, and see basically if this stuff is working correctly. I'm quite sure that this part is working okay, right? But let's see, let's see if this is actually working okay. And let's see, I'm going to print, uh, let's see what I'm going to print right now. <laughs> I'm going to print some stuff to debug the call basically and make sure that we're we're not having some issues with the fact that we're checking those two those lines basically because I have the it might be that we are not having there are some spaces in the raw data and that might be something actually. So I'm going to, to see this. Let's see. Basically if y we're going to print paper paper, like that, print rock, and last but not least, here, print scissors. Okay, here we go. We're not going to do all these things here, and we're not going to print anything. You can you can also force the starting data with the ones in the example so to have uh, something smaller to test. Yeah, that's that's right. That's why I could do could have done that. Okay, basically right here it is working. It seems to work quite good. It actually would be the, a great idea to do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway. I just find it <laughs> to make extra steps, probably. <laughs> okay. Print here, draw. Okay. So I'm going to remove all of those. But actually, it would be, have been a great idea to, to make that from the beginning. Oh, no. So... Uh, such a mess, such a mess. Okay. Okay. It's some more printed points. No, the fact here, like you can see, it ne it kind of happens that never enters the draw, basically. And that's the problem here. That's our problem. It's impossible to be that 
no of the, no one no one of this turn here is going to be the same basically let's see in a better way so rock rock is a and x a x let's see AX. Okay, basically, it seems that there's something wrong with the text itself. Okay, so let me see here. Split. How does this work? Because there's something wrong there, right? And I think it, th that that's because of the spaces, basically. Okay, it's R split. Okay, this thing is not working the right way, basically. Such an idiot. R split. Okay. Probably right now should be working good. No, it's not working. Okay. It's never the same because it's a draw. Oh, yes. That's right. Because they're not the same letter you're saying. I thought about this. I know exactly what to do. I'm going to match this. Ciao, Miki, ciao, ciao, come stai? Buonasera. Hello, man. <laughs> okay, so I can use match. Can I match things? I thought that I could have been using match, basically. Yes, I'm, I'm doing the AOC just to, to challenge myself. And Ele Pietro is such a clever guy that it's on the point, basically. It, it gets all my, my, my horrors. <laughs> Not errors. Tutti i miei orrori di codice. <laughs> okay. I don't remember anymore how to use match. Got it. I used it once in the beginning of this year and never used it again. <laughs> okay, I, I might do it like this, basically. Match X. Okay. I'm going to do it like that. Basically, what we're going to do is match letters, letter, like this, and if this is going to be, let's see, where the fuck is my scheme? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it and put it right here. I fucking hate the fact that each time it kind of unlocks the screen, it kind of disconnects. Okay. Here we go. A, B, C. So basically we're doing the, the, play, uh, the enemy one. So if it's going to be A, like this, right? Was it like this? No, it was something like this. Let me see the right syntax right here. Yeah, it's like that. And we're going to return, basically. basically. Return rock, right? If it's going to be B, we're going to return, no, no, return paper. If it's going to be C, we're going to return scissors. Okay, this should be okay because we're kind of matching everything. And now we're going to do the same basically with the fact uh, that we're going to, you know, for the player, basically. And what I'm going to do is actually to copy this, because I don't want to write everything again. And we're going to just to change the, um, the letters here. If it's going to be X, it's going to return rock. If it's going to be Y, it's going to return paper. And if it's going to be Z, it's going to return that one. So basically, we should be okay with this. But because we're not okay, really, we, we, we need to call this function and pass this letter. So basically what we're, we're going to do is just to call match my letters, basically. Match, ma match my, my letters, like that. And we're going to put I inside. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I can write it again. Zero, like this. This should be the, the trick, basically. This should be our trick work, right? It should be working right now. And now we can actually, probably, actually, and probably have have some draw, right? We have it. I'm such a genius. 
I'm not really, but I mean, without some help from the public here, I will be such a such a lost guy. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see what's my points. So so small. Let's see what was my first answer to this. Okay, it's going okay actually. It's not going that bad, but you know, I failed the first time because because of that. I just wasn't thinking of the fact that I'm using letters to represent these words and the letters itself doesn't match together because the words are actually different. Now I matched everything together using by using basically letters and matching with the the right word and I had these points the I has the um, fuck it. I had this result here. Here we are and Right now, it's not working. This part here, it's not working basically because this thing never happens except this one, okay? So basically here, I need to use the scheme and use the real words. Basically, I need to write paper, okay? Or maybe I can just do it like this. Controller place, Y, like that. You can understand that I'm such a nasty lass right now. Okay, let's rerun this. And we should have such a great point. Okay, we'll try to go with this number. We have a number right now. And we might have the right answer, right? 13,052, uh, 13, basically. Okay, can we try this? Okay. <laughs> she is with two asses. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no one did actually know that. No one is going to, you know, see that one. Okay, I got one gold star. I made it. I made it. I'm such a clever boy right now. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who suggested there. <laughs> anyway, just because Wintermute said that, I'm going to actually put the right S's here. <laughs> Come on. Scissors. 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 And scissors. Okay, we're fine to go. So the first part is done, and we just, and I just lost one hour and thirty minutes. Fuck it, <laughs> everything is becoming such a long thing right now. Okay, continue to part two. Okay, <sighs> part two. The elf finishes helping with the tent and sneaks back over to you. Anyway, the second column says how the run needs to end. X means you need to lose. Oh, fuck it. Man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Y means you need to end the round in a draw. And Z means you need to win. <laughs> the total score is still calculated in the same way, but now you need to figure out what shape to choose so the round needs ends as indicated. No way! This is terrible. <laughs> this is such a terrible thing right now. <laughs> so what we need to do right now is basically find a way to uh, rearrange everything of those uh, bottles here and uh, things here in order to make sure that everything is going to match the fact that the new scheme is different. Basically, the second column says what we need to do in order to not be sus suspicious, basically. So, X means that we need to lose. <laughs> y means that we need to draw. And Z means that we need to win, basically. So we have a new scheme that I'm going to draw here in order to make sure that I kind of understand what I need to do, basically. I'm such a visually guy, so I need things to be visually, to, to actually understand. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, here's my iPad. So, okay. So basically, this is the old scheme that we can definitely go and... I mean, we don't really need this. And Z means win. win. Okay. Anyway, the matching and the first points remain the same, basically. So we just need to sort in a better way the, the data, basically. We need to change all this X, Y, and... Um, X, Y, and Z, basically, with the right um, with the right element, basically. That that's what I'm thinking. 
right? Okay. Let's let's make a battle two. <laughs> We're going to create a new function. It's going to be called battle two, or organize my data. Organize, organize, or maybe uh, organize. Right? Should be a right name. Battle. Okay, like this. And basically, we're going to do the same thing all the first time. Right. We're going to take both of those. This part is going to be the same, basically. Like this. Okay. And we're going to run a for loop as well for e in raw data. We're going to get the temp e equals to obviously e, and we're going to get index. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Should we call anyway here the the match? I think yes, that we should call anyway this matching thing, just to make sure that we have the right uh, the right names. Okay, in this way. Like, like this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is basically... Oh, fuck. Temp e. Temp e equals to this. And then we're going to change as well the temp temporary player uh, result. And this time, it's going to be just the index of e. Not the index, but it's just going to be basically... It's going to be just like that. It's just going to be the result, the real, the real result. So we're going to check right now if temp b p, if temp p is going to be y x or z, in order to understand basically if we need to win, we need to lose or whatever. So if temp b p, temp p, like that equals to to y like that to y like that we need to draw so basically we need to draw so what we're going to do is to change this uh, this uh, temp p it's going to be the same basically right I think that we need somehow the index right here Yes, probably we need the index right here. Anyway, guys, I need to take a <laughs> I need to take a small, a small, a small rest. I'm going to, to go to the bathroom. I'm going to be back right right very soon. Just to I need to pee basically. Okay? I need to pee. <laughs> I'm going to come right very very soon. Okay, here we go. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I just took for the occasion some Surprise. Some chips. Some chips. Okay. Here we go. Now, the fact here is that I do need an index, really, because without that, I can't access the real data and change it to, to, to whatever I want, basically. Or actually, it would be easier to create a new array with my moves. I think that I would go for 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 a thing to, to create a new arrive with my moves. It will be such easier to me, right? Like this. It will be very easy, I think. Okay. I have 15 minutes to, to finish this. And I'm going to be really concentrated right now. So basically if we temp y is temp p is y, we need to draw basically. So what we're going to do is just grab the temp p and temp temp p is going to be basically temp p. Like that. Very nice. And what we're going to do is basically to append to my moves. No, the real bottle. We're going to call it real bottle. Okay, like that. And we're going to append this, this data basically. So what we're going to do is append. Okay. The, 
append array like that. And we're going to put here temp e, temp e, and temp p, like that. Right? Very nice. Now what we're going to do is to check if our draw is different. So basically, if temp p equals to x, okay? So we need to lose in this case. And okay how we can do that we can check basically what is the letter right now of the tempi probably i should i should create a function here for losing function lose move like this. I think that I'm writing a lot of code that probably can be uh, written in such a better way, but this is me, that's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, like that. Now we're going to make this one that is scissors, rock, scissors. Okay, scissors. And scissors is going to be obviously paper, return paper. Okay, and last one at least, rock. No. Rock. Okay. Super good. So here we're going to return not the paper, but rock. So we have all the the moves to to actually lose. <laughs> okay. What's wrong here? Okay, th this is the mistake here. If our thing is x, we're going to call lose move. Okay, we're going to pass basically temp e, temp e like that, and we're going to make sure that temp p basically equals to lose temp. Okay, like that. We're calling the function. It's going to give us the losing move. Okay, we're going to copy this. And I'm going to paste because I'm very lazy right now. And this is not going to be a lose move, but win move. Okay, like that. And we're going to match our move with if if the player, if the enemy is playing the rock, we need to play the paper. And uh, if he's playing the scissors, we need to play the rock. And if he's playing the paper, we need to play the scissors, right? Okay, like that. So basically, if we have an X, we're going to get this one and we need to lose basically. And what we're going to do is to append real bottle, real bottle dot append array basically. And what we're going to do is here to append an array like that and temp E and temp P basically. Okay, very nice. And last but not least, I'm going to do this like Aleph because I like this Aleph like that. Temp, temp p equals to x, y, and z. So basically z, we, we need to win. What we're going to do is temp p is equal to the fact equals to win move. Okay, like that. And we're going to pass temp e like that. Okay, very nice. And real bottle, we're going to append array again. And we're going to put here again an array like always. I think that all this tempi tempi probably I could just write a, a function myself, but that that's fine, that's fine, okay. And what's wrong here? Oh, wait a minute, what's wrong here? Temp, temp, okay, temp. <laughs> I was saying everything right now. Okay. Very good, very, very good. And then we need to so basically what we're going to do, create rounds, then we um pop pop pom organize bottles. Okay, and then we bottle, and I should get the right points. Now, the fact here is that surely it will call the matching my letters, basically. Here we're going to pass the data, basically. We're going to do it like this, okay? And here, what we're going to do is basically to pass the real battle, okay? 
Let's see if I can print data.name. Can I print that? I'm not sure, really. Let's see if this works. Okay, that doesn't exist, really. So, what I'm going to do is probably to pass the name as well. So, just to make sure that we we can use this in both cases. Even if I want to use it for the day one, basically, I just say that it's day one, part uh, day two, part one. But if I want to use it for part two, basically, I just say that it's part two. So, name. No. Name. Okay. Or maybe I can do it like this in a better way. Name, like that. Okay. Okay. This makes it work. We're going just to grab those two. We're going to do that right here. And it's going to be just this one. Like that. Okay. It should be working. Let's see if it's going to work. Zero points. That that's <laughs> that's great. <laughs> okay. Somehow we made some mistakes here, right? Okay, here inside I'm going to print. Let's see if we can print actually the the row data, the real battle. So let's see. Okay, let's see what what's happening actually. Okay, we have shiz paper, paper, rock, rock, paper, scissors. So we already have that. What's wrong with this? Right, what's wrong with this? Every bottle here, what's wrong with this? We have 10p, 10p. Let's see if we can use it like this. Maybe that was the mistake here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to remove this print here, just to make sure. Okay, we, we keep ge getting zero. And the mistake here is probably... No. What I'm going to do right here is just print temp E and temp P. Let's give some spaces there. Temp P, like that. Let's see where's the mistake. Okay. Oh, I see here. OC. What's wrong with this? There's something wrong here. And probably it's because of. I have no idea. Let's see here. It might be the fact of the matching here. So let's see if I can print the whole data here. Click OK, like that. Real bottle. Am I passing the real bottle? Yes, it's the real bottle. OK. Mm. Let's see what it is going to pass to us. OK, there's something wrong here because it's passing us this data like this. But actually, we don't want it like that. Right, so we actually want it like a rye, like this. It, it, it can be used like that. So basically, I'm thinking here we have such a mistake, and that's because we somehow are not... We need somehow to build an array, because like this, it doesn't understand it itself, right? It doesn't understand it like this. We need to find a way actually to format in a better way this thing. Because it's it's just not formatting it like we want, basically. So let's go to Arise and let's see if, if we can make something like that. Or maybe we need to append a pool array. It, it, it needs to be a pool array anyway. It can cannot be an array. So basically, where are we here? Var. Or here is going to be pool array basically like this how the fuck is created let's see i think there's something wrong here and 
it might be that somehow I need to make sure that this thing is received like a basically a, a string or something that needs to be included or something like that right okay <laughs> you know you can do that okay okay I need to find a way to do this and time is passing it's already 9 uh, 9 p.m okay this this actually doesn't work okay I don't like this one Pandarai. Probably I just need to use append. Probably it's better that one. Let's let's see if I can just use append. Probably I'm 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 creating such a bad workaround probably. Append. Just let's use just append. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but maybe it's okay to use that one. Let's see. Okay, I just needed to use a pen. Fuck it. Such a stupid thing. This had made made me no sense at all. Makes no sense to me at all this. <laughs> anyway, let's see the points. Can we can we have the points, right? So basically, I don't really need this one. I don't really need that one, right? I'm just going to pen this. Hopefully it's going to be okay. <laughs> And I'm not going to regret that part. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It worked. It worked. And I, I gained these points. Okay, so I'm going to print anyway the, the all the array here, all the arrays here, just just to make sure. <laughs> let's see if it's going to. Oh fuck! What happened? Oh, I just I just made a mistake then. <laughs> okay, what data? Real real bottle? Real bottle? No, real bottle. Okay. Okay, we have everything, everything we needed, and I'm going to run this, I'm going to run this, and this should be okay, actually. Let's see, these are the points, 13,693. This is what we're getting, and I think it's the right answer. We're going to, 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 to see if this works. Okay, we're ready, we're ready. It was hard, actually, guys. It's been 2 hours and 12 minutes since, until now, basically. But it's fine, it's fine, let's see. 13, 6, 9, 3. Okay, submit it. And I got a new star. <laughs> okay, okay, this was hard. <laughs> Not that much, but actually we made some really interesting stuff. Okay, we can go to the advent of code. <laughs> and we have four stars right now. <laughs> and I'm so happy, I'm, I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. I have such good things, such good um, suggestions, by the way, by El Pietro, that it was quite clever and it was really focused on what I was writing, all the bullshit that I was writing, and it really <laughs> it was there. Okay, day two, basically I just made a mistake here, I'm going to put all the day two, basically, control X, like that, here inside. Okay, very nice. Okay, I write something like 90 lines of code probably to make this work. And I'm not sure if this is important or not, but anyway, we made it. We made it. And that's great. Oh man, I can't speak anymore. Speaking in English for two hours and a half is such a hard thing. Anyway, let me know what do you think about <laughs> Advent of Code and if you are enjoying this, uh, this Advent of Code and if the challenge was hard for you. Let me know how did you solve it, why not? And if you want, you can come to my Discord and actually uh, sh share with me your, your solutions. I'm going to share my solutions as well in my Discord. So thank you very much for watching, subscribe and like to the channel. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time. But more important, keep devin' games!